Today we're going to look at sharing and editing our documents within Google Docs. So I have a Google Doc pulled up here. Obviously yours will be your paper that you are going to be sharing and editing. The first thing that I need to do is share it with a person who's going to edit it. So I'm going to come up here to this blue button that says share. Once I click on it, this box will pop up. This is where I enter the information about who I want to share it with. If you're sharing it with someone in your class, in your own grade level, you'll type in your graduation year, and then you'll type in their first initial, and then their last name. And you'll see that as you get going, it'll pull up their information. And there's the person I want to share with. Now it shows that it's shared with them. Now, over here I'm gonna choose, do I want them to be able to edit my paper, comment on it, on it or just view it? And I'm going to choose comment and then click send. The fact that I chose comment means that they can't actually make any changes to my paper. They can only comment on the paper. Now, document that has been shared with me and when they shared it they chose that I could comment. So you'll notice that I can't delete anything in this document. It only lets me comment. It makes these little green lines. So now when I'm going through, if I find an issue, there are two ways I can fix it. I can either tell them they need to delete something, like that, or I can add in words, like this, but whatever I'm doing won't be permanent. And then once I, what if I find something that's all the way off? I can highlight it like this and make a comment like, this doesn't make sense. So you'll see that these changes I made appear on the right with my picture next to them. Your guys's will have just a letter there for their first name. So all the changes are over here. Once the person whose paper I'm editing gets back in, they can either click this little check mark to agree with the change and it'll accept it or they can exit out if they don't want to make that change. But that is how you can edit someone else's paper without actually making changes to it so that no one can do any damage. Make sure you don't give them free access to edit the whole paper. You just want them to be able to comment.